And now going back to East Africa and Kenya, we are joined by uh, Wariko uh, Jacqueline Waiter of the Red Cross. Uh, hello, Jacqueline. Uh, Wariko? We have you on the phone? Yes, I am. Yes. Okay. We were talking earlier about this uh, taxi in um, Peketoni in Lamu. Just give us some updates. Uh, what are you hearing about the numbers of uh, the victims of this attack up, this, up to this moment? Yes. Um, the attacks um, started on Sunday the 15th in Peketoni, and um, we were able to access uh, the area in the Red Cross early morning on the 15th. Um, what we found in the ground was a lot of destruction in terms of uh, lots of fires, lots of uh, vehicles and buildings had been destroyed. And um, the count was 48 people were confirmed um, dead at the, t at the time. Three casualties were found still um, hanging in there and were evacuated to local hospitals. Unfortunately, one um, succumbed to injuries, and so the death toll for um has been confirmed at 49. Mm -hmm. We are on the ground uh, as Kenya Road Cross, um, providing psychosocial support and um, tracing services for people who are um, missing or trying to get in touch with these ones. And to date, we have open cases of 52 that have been reported. Today, unfortunately, there was there were reports of additional attacks in two villages, Mapenya and Mataramoko. Um, Mapenya, there were fires that were confirmed. Um, four houses had been raised to the ground. Uh, one was an incomplete one, so four buildings yeah. had been set on fire. But there were no casualties, no fatalities. Very, very quickly, uh, well, Rico, are you feeling safe over there? Do you see a presence, a sufficient presence of security officials? Pardon me? Do you feel that the government has beefed up security in the area? Do you feel safe working there as Red Cross? Yes. Well, the government is, is and the government forces and security forces are definitely um, forces are on the ground. And security has been beefed up. Or in some of the places, um, accessibility is very a big challenge. There's very um, wet ground. It's rusty, and so vehicles cannot access. Um, there's forest cover as well. But in the town, the government forces on the ground and and uh, quite visible in okay. terms of the number of personnel. All right. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, despite that poor line there, but uh, we thank you very much uh, Ms. Waiter uh, for the insight to Eriko Jacqueline Waiter is the Director of External Relations and Resource Mobilizations for the, for the Kenya Red Cross. Now,